Now we're ready to start talking about the uh, derivatives of exponential functions. So that's stuff like uh, e to the x, uh, remember e is that number, uh, 2.718, 2818, uh, etc., etc. Um, the base of the natural log function. And uh, more generally, we could have the derivative of uh, a to the x. Uh, and here, a has to be positive and not equal to 1. Um, technically speaking, a could be 1, uh, but then you just have 1 to the x and nothing is really happening. So we just uh, exclude 1 because in that case it's just not very interesting and it's uh, not very practical either. Uh, but anyway, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, show this one here and then uh, this one will be pretty quick to show after that. These are actually both pretty quick. Uh, but what's incredibly fascinating is that the derivative of e to the x uh, is just e to the x. So I, I think that's really cool. Um, but let's go ahead and see why that's true. So uh, we're actually going to use the inverse function theorem that we did in the last video. So um, let's start with, uh, let's, this time let's say y equals e to the x. Right? So if y equals e to the x, um, then that means x equals the natural log of y. Okay, so uh, inverse functions here. So x equals the natural log of y. And uh, that means that, so if x is a natural log of y, then that, uh, here we're expressing x as a function of y. So we can take the uh, derivative of x with respect to y. In other words, dx dy. Okay, so we can think of this as a function of y, f of y, and then we'll have f prime to y. So dx dy. Um, we know uh, the derivative of the natural log. We know that's 1 over, in this case, y, because our variable is y. Okay, so the derivative of the natural log function is uh, 1 over the variable, uh, if you just have it like this. So dx dy is 1 over y. Um, so now we're going to use the inverse function theorem. And just off to the side real quick, remember what that said uh, from the last video. That says dy dx equals 1 over dx dy. All right. So we're going to use this fact to uh, find dy dx. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we come up here, um, we have dy dx equals 1 over dx dy. All right, and uh, so that's our inverse function theorem. And we know dx dy, it's one over y, right? So this is one over one over y. Now if you have one divided by one over y, then uh, you know, take the reciprocal, multiply it. So you're basically just saying y, okay? But our variable here is x, so we don't want to end with y. Uh, we want to express things in terms of x. But what is y? It's just e to the x. So this equals e to the x, right? So here uh, we've just shown that dy dx equals da 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 e to the x. So uh, it's really straightforward, pretty simple. It's incredibly fascinating, I think, um, that the derivative is the same thing as the original function. Uh, but that's just the crazy thing about e to the x. So uh, again, just to recap real quick, um, we said y equals e to the x, so that means x equals natural log of y. Therefore, dx dy is 1 over y. Then uh, here we went back and said, okay, so what's a dy dx? Then uh, we use the inverse function theorem here, and we know dx dy, it's 1 over y. Simplify, and then we just end up with y. But um, because for this case uh, up here, dy dx, our variable is x, so we don't want to express it in terms of y, we want to end with x, so that's why we get e to the x here, because um, y equals e to the x. All right, so that's that. Um, and actually, for a to the x, uh, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Um, but the only difference here is, uh, let's just change some of this. So instead of e, we'll have a. And then uh, instead of ln y, x is going to be the base a log of y. right? So then dx dy, uh, we know from an earlier video, that's actually going to be 1 over y ln a. Okay. So then uh, dy dx equals 1 over dx dy. That's still the same. That's just the inverse function theorem. And now what we have here is 1 over uh, 1 over y ln a, like this. Okay, so again, 1 divided by 1 over something. Uh, take the reciprocal. Uh, and then multiply it by the 1 up here. Then what we're just going to have is y times natural log of a. But again, uh, a variable is x, so we don't want to end with y, we want to end with x. And what is y? It's a to the x. So this is a to the x times the natural log of a. So that's um, the more general case up here. And notice uh, what happens if uh, 
a is equal to e, then we have e to the x natural log of e, and what is natural log of e? It's just 1. So really, uh, this is just a special case of that. Right? And actually, the same is true for the uh, natural log derivatives. I don't think I mentioned that, though. Um, but anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for derivatives of exponential functions.